Clavius 5-axis machine here, horizontal uh, in its configuration, slightly different to some of the other machines you bring in at ETG. Yes, this is our, uh, well, only the only horizontal 5-axis we have in our portfolio. Um, so this is the TR80, so there's an 80, 120 and 160. Um, this machine gives you 800 um, capacity as a, as, a, as a turning unit. It's quite a beast of a machine. I, I did see one once um, at an exhibition focusing mainly on aerospace machining. Is that really where you're angling this? Well, it is, th this is a very heavy duty machine. So the spindle's got just nigh on 40 kilowatt spindle. Um, so it's an HSK spindle. Um, so it, it, it's, it's built for power. Um, so aerospace will be a breeze, but obviously you, you, you're more um, tougher steels, kryptonite and so forth will, will, will easily go through the machine. Uh, so, so maybe I'm underestimating this machine then in just saying about the aerospace. Um, tell us maybe in your opinion some of the applications that are more difficult and uh, you know, heavy duty that you would put on a machine like this. So your typical mould and die component with the, the, the nature of the table of it works at horizontal, um, allows you for swarf evacuation, but it's a very, very robust um, machine, the concept, the layout of the construction of the table and the spindle itself. When you talk about a spindle with that much power, do you still get the speed with it as well though? Yes, a 15,000 RPM spindle. So naturally with, with that spindle you, you need the torque and the power to get up to that, to achieve that RPM. Um, and, and that's what Bavius pride themselves on, is differ, differentiating themselves from the rest of the machines on the market. Now I know, having been to the factory, these machines built in Germany, yeah. um, does that come with a price tag as well? You look at German precision, German quality on a machine. Is it going to be more expensive than um, you know, some other machines that are on the market? No, not at all. Bavius have recognised that this is a machine that we want to get a footprint into the, into the UK. Um, so this, hence why we've purchased it and, and put it into stock. So talk to me about the precision that this machine then could potentially achieve, uh, growth control and on those factors that you'd expect from a machine of this quality. So the machine itself is, is, is built for that um, exactly re requirement. So when the machine leaves the factory, there's a NASDAQ part that it's tested through and put through to achieve you know, sub-micron um, accuracy. And there isn't a worry about having the horizontal spindle it coming out and having droop and all of that, uh, all those factors? No, no, it's, it's, it's Bavius, the, the, the German at the end of the day, and, and that's what they pride themselves on, on, their, on their technology. So every, everything from Bavius is a, is, a, is a horizontal machine. We've seen before the compact cell arrangement, and they've taken that technology through and put it into this machine. It's not, it's not a new machine, it's not a new concept, it, it's, proven, it's a proven model. And of course, five axis, full simultaneous machining, not just three plus two or four plus one. Yes, yes, and, and it's got the hard and iron control, which is sourced the biggest control in the in the UK market. Uh, going to be good for you here at ETG, and and the fact that this machine is available in stock. So I'm assuming if somebody had an application, they could come and bring it here, and you could maybe run demonstrations and actually prove uh, how fast, how accurate and how good a quality this machine is. That, that's, you, you took the wind out of our sail, to be honest, Paul. That's our exact strategy now, um, is the only way to prove a machine, is to get customers through with an application. So yeah, if there are people out there that like the, the look and feel of the machine, give us your part, we'll program it, we'll put it on, and we'll test it, test it through.